With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. And off we go from Las Vegas. This taken in right around the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Jackson looking to throw right away. The Bengal pressure gets him that time. Down he goes. So a tough early challenge here, second and long after the sack. A first carry for the legend. It's Bo Jackson. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 15. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. And I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. That's complete to DK Metcalf. Down the left sideline. And finally, down at the 36-yard line. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Now it's Jackson. Man, that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. That was a really nice run there to bring up third and short. After the incompletion on first down, it's awfully nice to have a running back that you can hand it to and put you back in a good situation. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. DK Metcalf, 30 yards. And the Raiders get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Josh McDaniels, he's got faith in his offense, and he's going to have him go for two. Jackson here, he's going to look to throw. And he will get in to make it 8 nothing. Interesting, I mean, they're putting their foot on the gas here early, going for two to go up 8 nothing. Well, after that drive, you have to believe that they thought to themselves, if we can do that, what's another two yards? Let's go get those and get two points as a result. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. Taking it about the one. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Here's Peterson as they begin on the ground. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Now it's Fields. Steps away to his left. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free and it's fourth down. 
And that's exactly what defenses talk about. You've got to find ways to get off the field when you can, especially on third down. And third down defense going to be vital in this game. Able to knock that one away and force a fourth down. And here we go on fourth down. Fields being chased out left. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. Dale. Take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. First down, here's a run with Peterson. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. One play action, Fields. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Man coverage is certainly a staple of their defense, and it's built for plays like that, forcing that incompletion. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. They run over center with Peterson. And he can only manage to get this to the 45-yard line. Well short of the first. It's a gain of five, but it'll lead to a fourth down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. So look at this. Here's the field goal unit coming out. And he is going to need to bomb this one. And this is good. It was running out of gas there at the end, but he winds up getting just enough on it. Well, I don't know if you ever go into a game expecting to attempt a kick of 62 yards. Charles, not only attempt it, but make it one of the longest kicks that we've ever seen. Yeah, I'm not sure you ever go into a game expecting to kick one of this distance, but all the better kickers, they do dream of it. And they show what they can do in practice and convince their coaches to give them a chance. That one surely paid off. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time. Now, Charles, remember, they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. One quarter in the books, 8-3, our score. They run on first down with Jackson, and he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. That's a heck of an effort from Josh Allen getting in there defensively. Jackson. He'll find Metcalf. Touchdown, Raiders! D.K. Metcalf with his second touchdown here in this first half as his guys are able to extend their lead. What a first half he is compiling here. He's already over 100 yards receiving and now two touchdowns, C.D. Brandon, you know I don't like to play the game where you start projecting when you're at a certain point. But let's face it, he's off to a tremendous start. So 200 yards, four touchdowns. Not the game things out of the question right now. He's blowing up coverages. You've got to double him every snap. Otherwise, he's going to defeat you on almost every play. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. 
This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get him three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, Derek Henry all alone. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. Derek Henry. 76 yards and the Bengals are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six well he's used to running it that distance here he had to catch it too before making the run heck of a play for the score there's not many things better for an offense than a back who is a complete guy who can run it and catch it and we just saw him complete a big time play for a touchdown Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And no run back here. Fair catch, and this will come out to the 25. zero and this is not the way to start a drive well, the offense knew it they were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game first and 15 and now the Bengal defense here calling a timeout They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. They'll begin the drive with Jackson on the ground. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. But well, obviously, they would have at least liked to have gotten back to the original line of scrimmage. Instead, now, they're dealing with second and long. I thought they would have passed it after the penalty. Probably wish they would have now. They run again with Jackson. And he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. On third down, Jackson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. The delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. Off the play fake. Here's Jackson sliding out of the pocket. This ball down the field for Pitts. That's caught at the 25. And he will work his way out of bounds here at the 25-yard line. They'll try the right side here with Bo. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. 
Second down, another carry for Jackson. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. It's a gain of a yard, and it takes us to the two-minute warning. gun on third down Jackson oh he had him he was open but he couldn't get it to him it's incomplete as a defensive back you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about and you can read the receiver's eyes you can read his hands and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away so that one on target, and it adds to this first half lead. And maybe we're too early to worry too much about one score lead, two score lead, etc. But this is where you kind of start banking those points that come in helpful later on. This taken in right around the goal line. And he will make it to the 20 yard line and no further. The Bengals drive about to get going. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. And this throw incomplete. That time and it's going to lead to third down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick up on his own defense. Those guys are sitting back and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. It's a Bengal first down, a pickup of 11. Fields now to throw. Eluding the pressure. Fields hit and the ball is loose. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44-yard line. Well, we know he's got the speed to get downfield, Charles, but there's the negative side. A little loose with the football that time. And that's normal, especially when you have his type of talents because you feel like you're into the open field and maybe you don't feel the people who are around you are closing in. All quarterbacks have to do extra ball security drills with the way the game's played now, because defenses, they attack the football as much as they attack the runner. Meanwhile, Jackson's throw into the hands of Pitts here. Pass the 20! Look at the big fella go, and he will score! Touchdown, Las Vegas! Kyle Pitts, 44 yards! And the Raiders will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. And what a weapon he is at the tight end spot because when they throw him the football downfield, they count on him getting additional yardage almost every time. And that's exactly what he did there. Caught that, ran with it, all the way to the end zone. Oh, this is blocked. Well, the Bengals have got it. Taking it right down Broadway. And all the way into the end zone, and that's two points. Boy, I think I need an oxygen mask after those last two plays, CD. The long touchdown followed by the even longer return on the block PAT. I wonder... If after that long touchdown, if someone actually needed a playoff and didn't take it, and maybe that was the breakdown of protection and led to the block. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. 
And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to. There he goes, right side. Down the sideline he goes. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. Marvin Harrison as the first half is winding down. And the Bengals are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. Well, this could be a big turnaround. They get the touchdown here in the final moments of the second quarter. And remember, Charles, they're going to get the ball to start quarter number three as well. So what you're saying is if they take the ball down to start the second half and score again, it could change the entire complexion of this game, couldn't it? Absolutely. Fields trying to throw for it. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Kaiser Wright. And the Raiders are going to have the football here at their own 35-yard line. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And with a seven-point lead, they'll likely look to take this to the locker room and not really press the issue. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Carlson now to kick this one away. able to get it across the 20 to the 25 yard line and they'll fake the handoff now fields buying time to his left and this one is incomplete he did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly. Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. Marvin Harrison with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bengals come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. They'll let Peterson try and run it in. And he will get into the end zone as they will indeed claim a one-point lead. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth, almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just letting you know our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. 
And next time, Brandon, I think you might want to consider running it because those defensive backs, they were plastered to the receivers, and they weren't letting up as that play went on. Second and 10. Here's Jackson. Pass incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Play action. It's Jackson. He'll buy some time right. Ah, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Understanding he's just down one possession, trying to make something happen by extending the play, but the coverage downfield was excellent. He escaped and bought some time, but that one goes incomplete. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on four. They're going to try and throw. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Now he's loose at the 40. Boy, what a turnaround. They exited the lockers with a nice lead, and now all of this. What's happened? So when you start to write your novel, you'll start out with, it was a tale of two halves, won't you? Right, but I'm a bad writer. <laughs> I don't know exactly what happened, because sometimes teams can go in with a lead and get too comfortable, too relaxed, and a couple of things go wrong, and it's hard to get back that good feeling. They'll start by running the option to the right. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. It's a good gain of 11, sets him up first and goal. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane, and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it, most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. Motioning to the left is Robinson to throw his fields. Sends it out to the sideline. This is Hill. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped, and that can turn into an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together, and he catches it and goes over the sideline. Looking to throw on second down. Fields dancing to his left. And he'll just throw this one over in the way of the security crew. Incomplete here. I think he's as fine with that incompletion as a quarterback can be, in all honesty. He avoided his first sack of the game, and he did have a chance of connecting for yardage, just unable to on that throw. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. No one left in the backfield as they send a man left. Feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. The perennial pro bowler Aaron Donald gets the sack. Third and goal, they decided to throw for it, but how about the play defensively? Couldn't find anyone open. Left him nowhere to go with the football. Had to absorb the sack. The offense stays out there. A big challenge here from this far back, but they're going for it on fourth and goal. They'll run for it. Peterson. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. Adrian Peterson taking it in from seven yards away. And the Bengals' decision to go for it pays off with six points. So that, Charles, a big decision there on fourth and goal, and it works out. And that is an example of a coach who's confident in his team. He didn't look at it as a gamble at all. He looked at it as belief. Great starting field position. Let's go ahead and deliver, and they do. 
And he's got it. So the try for two successful. And that bumps their lead up even further. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes, get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. And this drive is almost over before it began thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He'll hit Jackson complete. And this will not get close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the 26. A gain of nine, not enough, and it's fourth down. They'll indeed go for it with Jackson. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And the Bengals are going to get it back in terrific field position. Peterson running right down right around the 25 and the safety Trayvon Merrig up to make the play defensively in the first half he was held in check on the ground but despite that lack of production they still have the lead yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that if they could actually get production from their lead horse that would help open up this offense and widen this margin too here's fields now on second down Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by James Bradbury. And the Raiders are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. So a potential momentum shifter there, working with a two-score lead third quarter, but that not the smartest of throws. I would agree with you on that one because this game is still very much in the balance. It felt pretty one-sided to this point, but now if these guys can turn this turnover into points, this could start getting a little more interesting. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. An excellent run there coming from out wide. And we used to consider these jet sweeps to be gadget plays or something a little bit unusual, right? But now most teams have some version of this play in their playbook. And I think it's a lot because of the receivers that are being developed. There he goes, left side. Touchdown. Kyle Pitts, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Raiders are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. Well, that's pretty impressive, Charles. It's one thing to be an elite speed wide receiver and have all that yards after the catch into the end zone, but from your tight end? Yeah, you don't get that very often. What you're describing is more like a Tyreek Hill, a Devontae Adams, and Antonio Brown. You're not talking about a guy that lines up or can line up in line and look like an extra tackle on running plays. He took that bad boy downfield just like he was a scat back. Before the game, he told me, I'm going to have a zinger or two today. And I went, a zinger or two? I guess that's a zinger, right? That's a zinger. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. Oh, 
And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. Still enjoying the lead here in the third quarter despite their defense giving up that last touchdown. Now they'll see if they can get the equalizer here on this drive. Adrian Peterson off to the races. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. Adrian Peterson with now his second touchdown of this third quarter. And the Bengals get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. And that run massively increased his production in this game, and now he's over 100 yards. And break out your calculator, partner, because his yards per carry went up it's significantly, right? Big-time jaunt all the way to the end zone. And he finds his way into the end zone as the lead moves to 10. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Taking it about the one. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. They go play action with Jackson. Forced out to his left. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And the Bengals grab it. And it's a big turnover there on the final play of the quarter. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They run the counter now. It's Peterson. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Now a throw out to his fullback is complete. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. It's a Bengal first down, a pickup of 11. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a blitz coming, and down he goes. That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down on the sack. It's interesting, partner, that most defenses try and guard the 35-yard line actively because they think the way kickers are nowadays, about a 52-yard field goal, they're kind of giving up points. But you get even deeper into territory, you get into the red zone, they're going to guard it even more, which means more pressure, more blitzing. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. 127 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance and guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. A play fake, now fields to throw. And he's going to go down. Sacked back at the 13-yard line. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. Back to throw. Fields. This will go to Henry out wide. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. And his defense here going to burn their second time out. But you can also factor in another timeout that they'll get when the clock stops at the two-minute warning. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. A tenth carry now for Peterson. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage, back at the six. And now here comes the third of their timeouts defensively. 
So they'll be left with only the two-minute warning to stop it from here on out. And I guess not content to get another three here late. They'll try to add six more as they go on fourth and goal. Fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. Now this feels like something we'd see more commonly, CD, in a college game. They give it to the receiver down here in the red zone, but it winds up successful. Yeah, partner, I think you think it's less likely to find running space to the... Oh, look at this! A flip to the kicker. He's going to try to run for it. And he is not going to get to the goal line. And for the first time here this afternoon, they are thwarted on the two-point conversion. The kicking team out now for the Bengals as they'll send this one away. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. Here's first and 10. After the fumble recovery, it's Jackson. And the pressure gets there. He'll go down. It's a sack. And it is going to bring us to the two-minute warning. Here's second down. Play action. Now Jackson. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. The Hall of Famer, Ronnie Lott, picks it. And he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. With the points that we've seen scored, neither defense has been at their best, but these guys, they've been a little bit better, Charles, and a nice interception there. Yeah, you're right about that, Brandon. Let's face it. It's not always how you start. It's how you finish, right? So maybe you have a rough game all the way along, but if you make a big play like that at the right time, it can make every... Got a man that's caught at the six-yard line. It's a gain of 35. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defenses have just got to be dragging out there. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. Michael Vick scoring on the keeper from six yards out. And the Bengals have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. And now they'll empty the backfield here as they elect to go for two. Field's going to run the draw. And he is not going to get to the goal line. And for the first time here this afternoon, they are thwarted on the two-point conversion. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think, oh, for the third time, Jackson going to be intercepted. Ronnie Lott, the Hall of Famer with a pick. Well, it wasn't always pretty, but the interception there, that means that they should get out of here with a victory. Yeah, this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense. But they did finish it off, didn't they? They did make the winning play to close things out. They'll take that one and head to the locker room. That one looks like he'll throw here. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by James Bradbury. And the Raiders are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, They've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. They go play action now. Jackson rolling to his right. 
And his throw here is incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. On second down, Jackson. Over the middle, that's caught by Metcalf. And yeah, this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. On third and one, Jackson. And he'll be taken down by the Bengal pressure. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Here we go. It's Jackson on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and that will force a turnover on downs. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Oh, Fields is intercepted for a third time. Picked up by the Hall of Famer, Junior Seau. Oh, and I saw the pressure coming at him. That just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it, and the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy, and can he step into a throw. And when you can't do that, oftentimes interceptions result. He's going to let it fly. And that'll be incomplete with a penalty flag here on the field. And I'm not sure he was still behind the line when he let that thing go. So they say no to the penalty. The incompletion stands. It'll be second and ten. And what they want to do is go ahead and take those downs away from them. You never want to give extra snaps to any offense. That's how you get hurt. Now Jackson on second down. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that is going to officially draw the curtain on this one as the last throw intercepted. Picked off by the Hall of Famer, Night Train Lane. If they had designs of kind of wiggling their way back into this one, that hurts their chances right there. They had to put it mildly. We look at the lead, look at the deficit, trying to make a play downfield. Everyone seeking to be somewhat the hero. Didn't turn out that way at all, and you're exactly right. It's going to take a lot for them to have a chance to win this one now. And they're going to fake it. He wants to throw it here. Now a throw caught by one of their linemen. The fake field goal catches everyone by surprise. And the Bengals up the lead to four scores now here in this fourth quarter. Charles, a lot of happy faces.